In this video, I'll show you my building process to shape and create custom single piece hydrofoils. For this building method, you'll need to already have the mass for the foil since it will be used during the building process. To create the blank, I started by making a half template of the foil outline using 4mm plywood. Then I traced the entire foil outline over more plywood and marked symmetric lines on each side of the wings as reference points. The design of my hydrofoil was inspired by the control surfaces of a dolphin, specifically the pectoral fins for the wings and the tail for the stabilizer. I cut out all the plywood necessary to create the blank and made a cross-shaped cradle for the gluing process. The foil's shape has to fit within the blank, so I gathered enough plywood to create the right thickness at the right places. Next, I applied epoxy to all the necessary surfaces and aligned all the different layers of plywood to the cradle fuselage base. Once everything was perfectly positioned, I screwed the layers together into the cradle, starting with the center of the fuselage. Then I worked my way outwards using the reference lines to insert the screws symmetrically on each side. I screwed the wingtips down flat to the wood to create camber and continued adding screws until all the layers were properly squished together. This process is where the desired curves are created. I added curves to the wings and also the front and back part of the fuselage to integrate the angles of attack for the front and rear wings into the blank. The leaning and trailing edge of the wings must be measured on each side using the distance to the cradle as a reference. The symmetry of the blank is crucial for a successful shaping process. Once the epoxy cures, I have a blank with the basic shape, curves and angles of attack I desire. The first step in shaping is sanding the outline smooth. Once the outline curves are clean, I trace the cord line around the entire foil. When shaping, this line is never touched. The idea is to send the foil up to this line. Using multiple layers of plywood for the blank offers two advantages. It can create curves, and the layers of plywood create perfect three-dimensional reference lines when shaping. I try to stay symmetrical with every step. To shape the foil, I alternated between a grinder and hand sanding. Shaping a hydrofoil is a bit like shaping a surfboard. The best way to shape is by falling in love with your design, visualizing the flow, and using hydrodynamic lift principles in the process. I filled all the screw holes with a Q-cell and epoxy mix, drilled wide holes where the mass screws will be, and fill them with high density filler. Then drill the holes for the M8 screws that will attach the mass to the foil. As the shape got closer to being finished, I stopped using the grinder to prevent over sanding and just finished by hand. I routed an 8mm deep hole at the mast base. I used serrain wrap to protect my mast, added release butter to the screws, and put carbon inside the mast base. I screwed everything together but kept some space between the mast and the foil to pour epoxy and saturate the carbon base. Then I screwed the mast tight all the way down into the foil. Using a bubble level, I checked that the foil and mast was perfectly perpendicular and lined up. I continued pouring epoxy until the base hole was filled. I used screws to dial everything straight. Then I made a high density filler joint all around the mast. Once cured, I removed the mast and was left with a perfect mast shape at the base. I then went back to shaping to finalize the foil. It's really important to refine the shape as much as possible, keeping in mind the carbon and fiberglass will thicken the foil. The symmetrical holes created by the screws earlier become reference points for the different layers of ply. 
Once I was satisfied with my shape, I prepped everything for the top side layup and applied 3 inch unidirectional carbon tape to the wings and fuselage. Followed by two layers of 6 ounce fiberglass on top. After everything had cured, I cleaned up the edges and prepped the bottom side of the foil for the same layup process. Once all the layers were saturated, I tightened the M8 bolts into the fuselage to create perfect indentations into the layups. With all these layers, the foil required one final shaping session to clean up any imperfections and refine the foil to its final shape. Finally, I hot coated both sides of the foil with epoxy and wet sanded everything using 220 to 600 grit sandpaper. So that's it. I hope this gave you some ideas on how to build your own foil. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.